my name is Jess and I'm the platypus keeper at Hillsville Sanctuary and today I'm going to be telling you about an incredible species, the platypus. So life for a platypus actually starts out as an egg and just like these ones that I have here, these are platypus eggs, you can see they're quite small, they're only the size of your thumbnail. Now the shell on the egg, it isn't hard like a bird's egg, it's actually soft and leathery like a reptile's egg. Now there's usually one or two and these eggs are laid underground in a burrow where it's nice and dry on the riverbank, a little bit like what's behind me here. They get incubated and kept nice and warm by their mum for only 10 days until they hatch into tiny baby platypus that are only the size of a jelly bean. And these little babies then live underground in that burrow with their mum where it's nice and warm where they just feed on their mother's milk because just like us, the platypus is a mammal. But they're a special sort of egg-laying mammal that's called a monotreme. There's only two types of monotremes that exist in the whole world, which are the platypus and the echidnas. Now at four months of age, these babies are almost fully grown. And this is when they stop drinking milk and leave that burrow, taking their very first swim in the river. Hillsville Sanctuary we actually care for nine platypuses. They're all very different in personality and this nine includes our newest addition which is Baby Storm and she was bred here only this year. Now the platypus is actually a carnivore, a meat eater. Now in their case it means they will feed on any sort of invertebrates and even some small vertebrates that they pick up off the bottom of the river. Here at the sanctuary we feed our animals earthworms, mealworms, fly pupae and blackworms and also one of their favourites which are yabbies and these are just a little freshwater crayfish. Now where, the way they find their food is by diving right down to the bottom of the river and they use their bills to move rocks around and they use special sensors in their bills that are called electroreceptors. Now these receptors can detect tiny electrical currents that come off their prey. While they're swimming around under the water, they fill up cheek pouches on the side of their bills which is with as much food as they can. They then float to the surface, push the food back into the bill where they grind it up on grinding pads in their mouth. This is where they can swallow their food. Now the platypus eats a huge amount of food. They can eat up to 20% of their body weight every single day just in food, which is about double what any other mammal would eat. Now the breeding season for the platypus, it starts in September each year. But before this, the males need to find themselves a territory that has female platypus living within it. Because the platypus is actually a solitary species, so they don't like to live together. Now the way that a male will find a territory is by getting into fights with other males. But this is not a battle they should enter into lightly, because all male platypus are venomous, just like a snake. So they all have sharp spurs on their back feet that are connected to a venom gland up in their leg. And they use these spurs as weapons against the other males. Now once the male has found a female, first they dance. And the way they dance is by biting the very tips of each other's tails, and then they swim around in a circle joined together on the surface of the water. This is their courtship, and it's how they get to know each other. After that, the female goes underground into that nesting burrow to lay her eggs and to raise her young. Now all platypuses are actually very playful. It doesn't matter how old they are, whether they are a four month old baby or whether they're a fully grown adult. They're all incredibly inquisitive. Now the ones that live here with us, they always get safe toys to play with where they can harness these natural playful behaviors. But out in the wild, this isn't always the case. Things that look interesting to a platypus are often things that are harmful to them, and this is usually our rubbish. So things like hair ties, elastic bands, ribbons off balloons, uh, anything you drop on the ground, it washes into our stormwater gutters and drains, and then it ends up in our creeks and rivers. By keeping our streets clean, you'll also keep our creeks clean and keep it a lot safer for all of the animals that live there. Now the platypus is incredibly unique and when they were first discovered by the European explorers and specimens were sent back to England, they thought it was a hoax, a practical joke, a creature that had been sewn together from the parts of other animals. And it took many years before they accepted that the platypus actually existed. 
So when you look at their face, you'll see they've got a bill that looks like a duck's bill, except it feels quite different because it's made out of skin. It's actually soft and rubbery. They have really thick and fluffy waterproof fur, and the females have the ability to lay those eggs just like turtles and other reptiles. And like I said, they are a mammal, so they feed their young with milk, just like us. I think this does make them incredibly unique. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you've learned a little bit about this incredible species. We are very much looking forward to reopening and we hope to see you when that happens. See you soon.